Hey there, it's Sarah, author, speaker, and advocate. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, it's so good to have you. I hope you find my content useful. And if you do, please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe bell so that you never miss a weekly update. And for those of you who have been with me for some time, thank you so much for your continued support. I hope you continue to find this information useful. So today we're gonna to talk about how narcissistic abuse and emotional abuse in general can affect the brain in very real ways. So when we find ourselves in a state of constant stress, such as that that is induced by chronic emotional abuse, the brain starts to reprogram itself. In fact, they say that it takes 21 days to develop a new habit, and that can go either in the positive direction or in a negative direction. So the brain will develop this new habit, um, rearrange itself and its neurotransmitters to adjust to the environment that it's in. Um, and unfortunately, it starts blocking some of those healthy pathways while developing new pathways um, in which it can process information. This tends to affect the nervous system in a very negative way. It can affect uh, hormones and the way that they're released in the body. And it can make us feel groggy, lethargic, tired, um, but unable to sleep, hypervigilant, fearful, all of these things that are very distressing um, to victims of narcissistic abuse. The good news is, however, that over time, um, if a person is able to leave this relationship once and for all, go entirely no contact with your, their abuser, the brain will start to heal. It will start to regenerate those healthy neural pathways that it had blocked off. It will block unneeded ones that were developed during the stress of the relationship. Um, and it will heal and repair itself. Um, but it does take time, it does take complete separation from the narcissistic partner, and it takes a commitment to self to not repeat the same behavioral patterns uh, that led to that relationship and to foster more beneficial and healthy relationships in the future. So I hope this information was helpful. If it was, again, please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe button so that you never miss an update. And I will see you again very soon.